Start from somewhere. Uh. Here we go. I've been on a run forever. I decided I'm just gonna do a mile. I was having a hard time get outside. Then I'm gonna look at some different plans to set up a cool running schedule for the year. Mile. Yeah, it's cold. Um, so I'm gonna go for a three, a 5K, 10K, half marathon, training for a Spartan race with my cousins and my dad. That's my main goal in June. So I need to be ready to be able to do that. Not only do I need to be able to run like 13 miles, I need to be able to do like a pull up or two or three or four, I don't know, and some other like actual physical strength. Definitely lost some stamina. <laughs> oh man, this is frustrating. But start from somewhere. Uh, starting to rain. It's a cold, cold rain. Looks nice, Atla. Or I do how I love how the mountains look. Just about a mile, maybe under, maybe a little over. That was rough. I'm just gonna do what I can with exercise. Just keep killing the diet. This is a little bit torture for me. These breadsticks, the soup, which usually would be super good, has milk in it. Can't have it. So I can eat fruit then. I feel like a real cook because I'm doing Bailey's. I got a bunch of meat, tomatoes. This is the good stuff for the good soup. Here's all the ingredients. We got garlic, onions, sweet potato, squash, pork, beef, some bay leaves, tomatoes, chicken stock, celery. Maybe some spices and an addition I'm doing is diced chilies. Here's the recipe. Butternut squash chili. That's what it's supposed to look like, so hopefully it will. And this is from Everyday Paleo Food um, Recipes for Life by Sarah Fargoso. I just typed it into Google. I've never actually cut a squash before, so although it's probably very simple, it's, this is the first time for anything. Those water beads that came out like a pumpkin. Cord that part off. They dropped tons on the floor. So I won't hopefully do that anymore. Cut all this stuff off. I think I cut too much though, with my 90 degree angle way. Into little squares. It's gonna be good. We just saw a maze runner, his family. And there's yeah. celery. Huh. And I'm making the rest of the soup, but it was pretty good. The then we talked about all of our book ideas. <laughs> Onions in the food processor. My eyes are dying. I was crying like a cryer cries. The whole yellow onion. Getting the onions till they are translucent, and then I put in the garlic, and then also the meat. <coughs> Cooking that till it's brown, and then I'll be putting in this stuff and the spices. I put in the squash as well as four cups of chicken broth, and all the spices. There's Italian seasoning, there's cumin, and there's chili powder. And then I'm gonna put in the diced tomatoes, four, four cans and some green chilies, and then you put in a bay leaf um, and let it cook. I'm not doing sweet potato. There's too much uh, like squash, so it'll just be butternut squash. Bottoms up. Chilies. Tomatoes. Well, here's the finished product. Meaty squash. Spices, celery, it's really good. I'm actually, it's like the best soup I ever made. I have to share it, which is okay. I'm taking it to the, the Munch and Mingle tomorrow, but if I could, I would just eat this for the next few days just all myself. But I'll save some for me. It's a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.